Today what I'm going to be doing is trying something completely new for me and I'm going to be using these little wave stickers. They were really cheap and I will link them in the description below, don't worry. But I haven't got any pots that I want to use them in. So what I'm going to do is make them into these little shell moulds that I've got. Again, I'll link them in the description. I'm going to cast those first and then do a little ocean scene with these because I'm not very good at making waves well <laughs> a lot of people will probably disagree with that but I'm not very good at making like these frothy waves in these so I'm going to see if this works just as well I'm going to be using the J Diction 4 hour D mold because I want to get on with this really quickly if possible if you already know about PPE and you're not interested in anything that I'm using because you've got your own, then just skip this bit onto the next bit because I'm only talking about why I use PPE and what PPE I use. I get asked an awful lot whether I'm being safe when I'm using resin and whether I'm using PPE. Now everybody that knows me knows I always do it and I'm a big advocate for it. Anybody that makes a video that isn't using gloves at the minimum and a mask, that is a little bit irresponsible because you really should be taking care of yourself. I've got a terrible allergy to resin so I have to be careful. I use this mask all the time. I've recently gone over to this one. It has an airflow in it as well. And it filters that air through this, which has got a battery pack on the back. You don't have to spend that amount of money. I did because I like to be able to talk to camera and I couldn't talk to camera in the mask that I used previous to that. And I use this type of mask for many, many years. Full face mask, keeps me lovely and covered. And I use nitrile gloves all the time. I've made several videos on why it's so important. The other thing I have is a very powerful extractor fan that goes on in the background. And when I'm editing the videos, I actually voice isolate them so you can't hear all this. So for all those people that accuse me of not using PPE recently, for whatever reason, I don't know, then... Rest assured, I do, and rest assured, I always advocate that everyone should. I've got my resin mixed up now, and I've also put some titanium white resin pigment in, my homemade one, and also some white glitter. And I'm going to pour this in slowly. Now, the great thing about the four-hour demold is I will be able to demold this in four hours, and also I'll be able to get on with it a lot quicker. But it is a thicker resin, so remember that. So when you're putting it in your moulds, you'll have to help it through a little bit because it is a thicker resin and give it some squidgy widgy to make sure it's everywhere. Top that up and then I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'll go round it and take off any of the bubbles that have come in there that I've trapped by squidgy widgy in it like that while I fill this one up. Well, these are all lovely and cured now. Let's hope I managed to get all the little bubbles out of them. I think I probably did. Oh, they are so sparkly. <laughs> oh my god, I love a bit of sparkle. Oh yeah, look, perfectly bubble free. And as the camera picking up how iridescent that is and how sparkly it is. Because if it isn't, I am crying. Because it is beautiful. And not a single bubble in that. Excellent. Such good quality resin. Makes such a difference having a good quality resin. And the same for that one as well. Look, not a single bubble anywhere that I can see. It's all really cured, lovely. And it has a great look to it. Oh, I love it. So now we've got to turn it into a beach scene and have the waves coming up. I think I should have the waves this side. So the water should be here. A little bit of sand and some waves rippling up against the shore. What do you think? So again, I'm going to be using the four hour demold resin for this because I think that will cure up quickly. I've got a little bit of sand mixed up. One of them I'm going to use a transparent pigment and one I'm going to use a opaque pigment. But I am going to put a little bit of shine into both of them for the blue. So that's all mixed up now and I've tried to mix some bubbles in it because I think the water would have bubbles in it anyway. First of all, I'm going to put a bit in my sand and get my sand to like a little paste. Probably got far more sand here than I need. And I want that to be kind of soggy, but pliable, but not too wet. So like that, so it's sticky. I don't know if you're meant to put the sand in first or second. I suppose first, because you see will wash up against it. So I'm going to put my sand in on here like this, my beach. And that'll stick to that really well. Then what I'm going to do is try and taper that out like that. I could have it going right the way around the shell like that. But I think it's going to look a bit better doing it this way. But I don't know. I'm I'm not very good at these things. But I love having a go. Let's taper that out again. And we'll leave that. I'll finish off doing this one. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with the resin that's going to be water. Well, I've got my colours mixed up now. And I've popped a little bit of glitter in there as well. That very fine glitter. And all I'm going to do is 
pour this in. This is the solid colour one, so it's not transparent at all. And it's now, yeah, I think that was the right move, was to bring it up to the sand rather than the other way around. Because now the sand does look like it's under there, like a little beach. That's that one. Oh, nearly knocked it over, look. And then this is the more transparent one. What do you prefer if you make these, or if you were to make these, which one would you prefer? I suppose we can't tell until we've looked at the end. What I might do with that little darker one in this lighter one is just put little waves of that going through just to give it a bit more depth and a bit more contrasting and shadow. That might not even stay in there. That might disappear once it's all cured up. There we go. And then for this one, I'm going to use a little bit of this clear over the sand. Probably any bubbles that have come right to the surface. And now I'm going to leave these to cure up and then we can test out the actual stickers and see how they work. Well they didn't take too long with that four hour demold resin to cure up and now it's time for me to put my stickers on. Now they're in straightish lines but that's not a problem because I think I can probably cut them or twist them a little bit. So far, that is definitely my favourite one. I like the different colours and the tones that are coming through. And the sparkle in it. Of course, I love the sparkle. And these are the stickers. I quite like that one. I am going to cut these up. I don't know whether it's going to work with me cutting them. But we'll soon see, won't we? Who knows? <laughs> they might even be bendy enough to move around, actually. I didn't think about that. Once I take the sticker off the plastic i just put a fingerprint in this because it's not quite as dry as i hoped it was but then it has only been just over three hours i actually really like that i think that's come out well one of the other stickers that comes with it is almost more three-dimensional i don't know if these are going to be a stretchy so let's have a look yeah this is a little bit more thick but it still is very flexible to move around like that. I really like that. I think that's come out brilliant. Now to make sure that they are fully down and they're not going to go anywhere or get scraped off. What I am going to do is go over them like this with a little bit of this low viscosity UV resin. And I'm going to cover the whole base of it as well. Just in a bit of this UV resin. Only a thin layer. Actually, that really does finish that off nicely. Same for this one. Quickly burst any bubbles in the UV resin. And then with my new j Diction light, I can cure those both up at the same time for three minutes. Well, they're all nice and cured now. I love them. I really do love them. I could never get anything as neat as that with the waves. And this isn't sponsored by this company. They don't even know I've got them at all. One of my members told me about them and I thought I'm going to have a try with that. I absolutely love the effect. I think I like this one the best with the more transparent pigments in it. I like it with the bit of sparkle that's going in on in there as well. I think that gives it a really nice finish. And those waves and that froth does look good. And it's nice and smooth everywhere because I coated that sand. That's very pretty. It looks like a night ocean, I think, more than anything. And these little shell moulds are brilliant. I'm definitely going to be making some more of those for selling with my bathroom set. And I love the way that that has come out really iridescent as well. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you've used these stickers and if I've used them wrong. If you've got any tips on how to use them. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I will link everything that I've used today in the description below. So if you want to get hold of it, you've got no problems. Be sure to boot that like button and hit that subscribe button and check out the video that's coming up next. I think you'll really like this one. Take care. Enjoy your rest. In. Bye.